On the edges of our nearby planetary group, there exists a little divine body, ensnared by a harmful cover settled in the midst of the tremendous span of space, a giant shadow looms over its tough skyline, covering the stars from view. As the faint sun comfortably crosses the sky, its weak beams battle to dissipate the semi-haziness that covers the frozen plain loaded with endless cliffs. Welcome to Pluto, a forlorn domain of rocks and ice covered in unending shadow. We should delve deeper into the secrets of this far-off world. Pluto, arranged roughly 40 astronomical units from the Sun, appears as a dark and indistinguishable object. This distant body follows an extended orbit around the planetary system center, completing its journey every 248 Earth years. Despite having a diameter of just 1,188 kilometers, smaller than not just the planets but even several satellites like the Moon, Precise observations of Pluto's proper motion allow us to determine its mass at a mere 1.3 asterisk 10 to the power of 22 kg or 1 118th of the lunar mass. Pluto shares more similarities with smaller celestial bodies like Ceres or Sedna, earning it the designation of a dwarf planet in 2006. Because of its lengthy orbit, Pluto boasts an extended orbital cycle, it only moved toward its perihelion coming as close as 29.7 astronomical units to the Sun in 1989. Over two centuries after its discovery, the distance has steadily increased and is projected to reach its maximum value in 2113 when Pluto will be near its aphelion at 49.3 astronomical units from the solar system center. Therefore, Pluto stands as a distant and faint space object, invisible to the naked eye from Earth appearing as a dim brown disk devoid of surface details even in images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. To overcome the challenges of studying Pluto, the New Horizons unmanned orbital station left on a mission to explore the dwarf planet in 2006. After a nine and one half year journey, the spacecraft reached Pluto in 2015, capturing detailed images and gathering more than six gigabytes of information during its flyby. Although the probe's trajectory prevented a comprehensive survey of Pluto's entire surface, the data transmitted to Earth provided significant insights. Presently, let's delve into Pluto's internal structure. According to the current model, at its core, Pluto boasts a large, roughly 1,700 km diameter composition of various forms of water ice and rocks. Surrounding this core is a 300 km ice mantle, possibly undergoing tectonic processes that are still not fully understood. The mantle, in turn, is covered by a crust consisting of solidified gases like nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Some theories suggest that Pluto's core generates enough heat to melt sections of the icy mantle, potentially harboring a salty and toxic ocean beneath the surface. Concerning Pluto's surface temperature, it remains extremely low, not exceeding 6K minus 213 degrees Celsius. Our journey around Pluto begins with an exploration of its most prominent feature, Tomba Regio. This extensive region, resembling a heart-shaped sketch, dominates the planet's surface. Pluto's axis of rotation has a significant tilt, and the planet undergoes cyclic motions due to the gravitational influence of its large satellite, Charon. The Pluto-Charon system is tidally locked, continually facing each other with the same sides. Pluto's family of moons, including Nix and Hydra discovered in 2005, and later discoveries like Kerberos and Styx, are much smaller and have irregular shapes. These moons, ranging from a few kilometers to not more than 16 kilometers in diameter, are primarily made of water ice and possibly got captured by Pluto's gravity from the Kuiper belt. Now, let's discuss Charon. While not all of Charon was captured by the New Horizons probe's cameras, the visible surface reveals intriguing features. Toward the south of the equator lies a vast region called Vulcan Planum, spanning at least 400,000 square kilometers, comparable to the size of an average European country. Here, the highest summit on Charon, Kubrick Mons, with a width of around 40 kilometers and an estimated height of 4,000 meters, stands out. Some believe Kubrick Mons might be a cryovolcano, suggesting that the area around it may have sunk due to the weight of an underground reservoir. Moving north near the pole, we find the giant macula with a width of 475 kilometers. Its origin is still debated, but a common theory suggests that nitrogen and methane from Pluto's atmosphere got trapped by Charon's gravity, settling at its poles. 
Later exposure to ultraviolet radiation transformed them into tholin, which gradually accumulated in the celestial body's ice. However, this hypothesis awaits verification through future missions, as Karen remains relatively mysterious to us. Despite being one of the most fascinating structures in the solar system, the Pluto Karen system is understudied, with the New Horizons probe having left the area long ago and the celestial bodies themselves moving away, taking their secrets with them. The probe is currently over 50 astronomical units from Earth, occasionally transmitting crucial data, but by around 2030, its systems are expected to fail, leaving it abandoned in the infinity of space. Pluto's distinctive characteristics extend beyond its physical structure and orbit. Its thin atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, is a significant focus of scientific interest. This atmosphere undergoes dramatic changes as Pluto orbits the Sun. When Pluto is closer to the Sun, its surface ices sublimate into gas, temporarily thickening the atmosphere. As it moves further away, the atmosphere freezes and falls back to the surface as snow. These seasonal variations are unique and offer a fascinating glimpse into the dynamic processes occurring on this distant world. Pluto's atmosphere also exhibits haze layers observed by the New Horizons spacecraft. These layers are likely formed by complex chemical reactions triggered by sunlight breaking down methane molecules. The resulting compounds then form tiny particles that create the observed haze. This process is similar to what happens in the atmospheres of other outer solar system bodies, such as Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Despite its small size, Pluto has a surprisingly varied and complex landscape. The New Horizons mission revealed mountains as high as 3,500 meters, vast plains of nitrogen ice, and networks of valleys and ridges. One of the most striking features is Sputnik Planitia, a large heart-shaped nitrogen ice plain that appears to be geologically active. This region shows evidence of convection cells, where warmer ice rises and cooler ice sinks, creating a constantly renewing surface. This activity suggests that Pluto's interior retains some heat possibly from radioactive decay, driving these geological processes. Another intriguing aspect of Pluto is its potential for having an underground ocean. Some models propose that a subsurface ocean of water and ammonia might exist beneath its icy crust, kept liquid by heat from the planet's core and the antifreeze properties of ammonia. If such an ocean exists, it could provide a habitat for life, albeit in conditions vastly different from those on Earth. This possibility makes Pluto a subject of astrobiological interest, alongside moons like Europa and Enceladus, which also harbor subsurface oceans. Exploration of the Kuiper Belt, the region of the solar system beyond Neptune where Pluto resides, continues to be a frontier for scientific discovery. The Kuiper Belt is populated with many small icy bodies that are remnants from the solar system's formation. Studying these objects can provide insights into the early solar system's conditions and the processes that led to the formation of planets. Pluto, as one of the largest and best studied Kuiper Belt objects, serves as a key to understanding this distant region. In the coming decades, missions to the outer solar system will likely return to Pluto and its neighbors armed with advanced technology to uncover more secrets. Future probes may carry instruments capable of penetrating the ice to explore potential subsurface oceans, analyze the chemical composition of the atmosphere and surface in greater detail, and map the geology of these distant worlds with unprecedented precision. As we look forward to these future explorations, Pluto remains a symbol of human curiosity and our quest to understand the cosmos. The knowledge gained from studying Pluto not only enriches our understanding of the solar system but also inspires us to continue exploring the unknown, pushing the boundaries of what we know about our place in the universe. In the meantime, we encourage you to stay engaged with the latest developments in space exploration. Your interest and support are crucial as we venture further into the final frontier. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet of our solar system, has captivated the imaginations of astronomers and the public alike since its discovery in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh. Over the decades, our understanding of this distant and enigmatic world has evolved significantly, culminating in the detailed insights provided by the New Horizons mission in 2015. This unmanned spacecraft's flyby of Pluto revolutionized our knowledge, revealing a complex and dynamic world far different from what early telescopic observations had suggested. Pluto's status as a dwarf planet, 
reclassified by the International Astronomical Union in 2006, underscored its unique place in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune populated by small icy bodies. Despite its diminutive size compared to the major planets, Pluto holds immense scientific value due to its pristine environment, which preserves clues about the early solar system's formation and evolution. The journey to understand Pluto began with telescopic observations that hinted at its unusual orbit and small size. Unlike the gas giants and even the terrestrial planets, Pluto's orbit is highly eccentric and inclined, taking it far above and below the plane of the solar system. This orbital path hints at a complex history involving gravitational interactions with larger planets and possibly past collisions with other celestial objects. When New Horizons embarked on its mission in 2006, it carried the hopes of unraveling Pluto's mysteries. The spacecraft's approach and subsequent flyby provided a treasure trove of data, revealing geological features such as mountains, plains, and valleys on Pluto's surface. Among the most striking discoveries was Tomba Regio, informally known as the Heart of Pluto, a large nitrogen ice plane shaped like a heart, indicating potential geological activity and atmospheric interactions. The surface of Pluto, composed primarily of nitrogen and methane ices, suggested a dynamic environment where seasonal variations cause these ices to sublimate and recondense, akin to Earth's water cycle but on a much more extreme scale. The presence of mountains reaching heights of 3,500 meters and vast plains of nitrogen ice indicated geological processes at work, driven possibly by internal heat sources and the slow, cold, but ongoing evolution of its surface. Moreover, Pluto's largest moon, Charon, with its own fascinating features such as the enormous canyon system and possibly cryovolcanic activity, provided further insights into the dynamics of the Pluto-Charon system. The smaller moons of Pluto, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx, discovered later, added to the complexity and richness of this distant world's satellite system. Beyond its surface features, Pluto's interior structure remains a subject of intense scientific interest. Models suggest a core made of rock and water ice, surrounded by a mantle of ice possibly undergoing tectonic activity. The presence of a subsurface ocean, inferred from gravitational data and surface features, opens intriguing possibilities for habitable environments beneath the icy crust, albeit under extreme conditions different from those on Earth. The atmosphere of Pluto, though thin and primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, undergoes significant changes as the dwarf planet orbits the Sun. This seasonal variation, observed by New Horizons, results in the temporary thickening and thinning of Pluto's atmosphere, influencing surface processes and potentially affecting the climate over geological timescales. Scientific exploration of Pluto extends beyond its immediate physical characteristics. It serves as a gateway to understanding the Kuiper Belt, a region rich in small icy bodies that hold clues to the solar system's early history. By studying Pluto and similar objects, scientists hope to uncover the conditions and processes that led to the formation of planets and the distribution of material in the outer reaches of our solar system. Looking forward, future missions to Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects promise to deepen our understanding further. Advanced spacecraft equipped with cutting-edge instruments could potentially study Pluto's subsurface ocean map its geological features with greater precision, and analyze its complex atmosphere in unprecedented detail. Such missions not only expand our scientific knowledge but also inspire new generations to pursue careers in space exploration and astronomy. Pluto's exploration underscores the collaborative efforts of scientists, engineers, and space agencies worldwide. It symbolizes humanity's relentless curiosity and quest for knowledge about the cosmos. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and its surroundings, we are reminded of the vastness and complexity of the universe, prompting us to reconsider our place within it and the potential for life beyond Earth. In conclusion, Pluto remains a beacon of scientific exploration, offering profound insights into planetary evolution, geological processes, and the dynamics of distant worlds. Its journey from a mysterious point of light in telescopes to a detailed world captured by spacecraft highlights the rapid advances in space exploration technology and our growing ability to explore and understand the outer reaches of our solar system. As we reflect on Pluto's discoveries and anticipate future missions, we are reminded of the importance of continued investment in space exploration. 
Each new discovery enriches our understanding of the universe and inspires us to push the boundaries of knowledge further. Pluto's story is far from over, and its continued study promises to reveal even more about the origins and evolution of our solar system, shaping our understanding of planetary science for generations to come. In the words of Carl Sagan, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Pluto, with its mysteries and revelations, exemplifies this sentiment, beckoning humanity to explore, discover, and understand the wonders of the cosmos.